Good morning. So it's been a little little while since we last recorded. Um, life stuff, and days off and things like that. It's been good. Uh, nice and relaxed. Um, but uh, I did have a little bit of time to poke around with um, Goal Monitor's um, UI. Um, just here and there. Um, so I've changed things up a little bit. Um, but not on this machine. Uh, I did it all on my laptop. So I need to, um, but I did, did commit it and push it. So I just need to grab it. Um, however, um, I thought I would show what's, what the difference is first. Um, so I think at the moment, um, let's check what we've got going on here. Yeah, so yeah, that's all old old school at the moment so uh, of course <laughs> I've totally reinstalled uh, Firefox um, so it's lost all my certificate authorities and stuff like that um, I needed to do that because uh, the new version broke and I wanted to roll back to the old version so I'll need to go get my certificates um oh well uh so you'll see what i what i what i do with uh, my uh my caddy juju charm uh so i need to go grab that stuff so right so my caddy server is running on machine six of my lxd deployment so in all the little containers so I need to go find the uh, certificate authorities thing in there um, and then install it into Firefox. So let's clear that. Yeah, we'll go. So I'll SSH into that machine. Definitely six. Yeah. yeah. And I need to now go find um, the root CRT, which I seem to already have copied in here, but I'm not sure if that's going to be valid still. It might be. Uh, I'll just check. I'll um I'll see if I can find what's running at the moment, and then um I have to be a pseudo pseudo find. And then I have no idea where it is at the moment. It's a long time ago, so I think it's still called root CRT. Let's make sure we don't get any. Um, stuff like that. I'll just stick that through. Ooh, what did I do there? Oops. Right. So it's just found the two. Uh, okay, let's just diff them. I suppose I could just copy the original, but I just want to see if it actually has changed. Um, so let's grab that. Uh, we only need to get. Actually, no, we only need that one. Oops. We need that. And we've got a local. No difference. Cool. Okay, so the caddies. Um, Authority certificate thingy image go. What's my name? Can't remember the name of it. I've got that on my machine in the thingy, so I don't think I've got it in here by now. Okay, let's um go here. Copy it so juju cp six root dot crt. 
here. Back into Firefox. Privacy. Certificates, authorities, import. Caddy local authority. Yeah, that's fine. No, don't want to do our emails. Okay. So in theory, that's us. Yep, yeah, good stuff. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah, because uh, I was mucking about. I was mucking about with stuff, wasn't I? Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is what we were left with last time. I was just mucking about with this. Um, and uh, it's just not working out. I know how I need to... I did have a little further play with it um, on my laptop. And I had this down the bottom as a fixed thing. Um, I think I even put it into a grid format, um, proper grid format with a little bit of room for but an up and down disclosure thing, which I don't think I actually did yet. Um, but I'm just not happy with it. So it's not good. Um, and I need to think about it a bit more. Um, so um, I've reverted all that, um, but also done a little bit of cleanup. Um, so for mo at the moment, when you do add, it's just a, uh, I took away all the borders and everything, but again, it's all rubbish. It's very badly designed. Um, but at least it's centered here. Um, but I've done a little bit of work on that just to make it a little bit more, uh, less, um, war, shall we say. Uh, but let's, uh, go back. So I need to just grab the latest version, but we've got all this stuff at the moment, which I'm going to get rid of. So bye bye. Hit reset hard. Now there should still be a couple of files left. Is there not? Oh no, because I did add them. That's cool. All right. I'll say, yeah. So I updated um, a bunch of CSS. So let's see what that looks like. It's still very much work in progress, though. But I was just starting to move towards uh, the forms being grid based um, with the page being flex based. Um, kind of just using flex and grid more, not using old school CSS for labels and things like that. OK, so I think that's it deployed. Let's see what we got. There we go. All right, so that's them gong. No more add goals at the bottom. Uh, and that's, yeah, there we go. So it's all centered. Um, I think what's going to happen, so this is still work in progress. Um, what's going to happen is um, I'll be updating each of these forms to be a form. Um, with its own idea of its own grid. Um, and so we'll have things like maybe um, 
sort of the verb, prefix, value, and suffix um, sort of in their own column or row or whatever. Uh, something that makes more use of the, the page as is and then make it responsive so that when it's on um, mobile, it's back to this effectively. Um, but we need to get there first. Um, I'm not too bothered about it at the moment, it kind of works, so. Um, but we don't actually at the moment have any means of adding um, a measurement. Uh, and we do need to get back to that um, because the, the thing is, I'm supposed to be still doing API tests. <laughs> And I kind of got to the point where I was doing measurements and didn't have a way of adding, adding measurements. So that's the goal at the moment is to get measurements being added. Uh, that's the data I need so that I can then test the API and then move on to the actual usage of those measurements to draw graphs and things like that. So what's the next step? I guess I need to mock up a way of when I mock up. I need to create a raw add measurements form again. Um, and I don't want to do it on the goals page. Um, I think I just need a button from here. Um, so maybe I'll just create a new page, a new route, and just have a quick quick and dirty button under here to say add measurement or something. Maybe above actually. But yeah, just something so I can get the data in and then later on I can do the UI. So what are we going to do? I think well, the first thing is I suppose is uh, get the ID up and running. Bet there's uh, plugin updates. Yep, thought there might be. It's been a while. Do a quick update. finished. There we go. Yes, I know. All right, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. We'll get rid of that. Um, okay, we'll get a shot of that. So we do have an add measurement component, which doesn't do a great deal at the moment. Um, but we do have a select list for the goal, which we're going to not need for the time being. So I'll take that out in a minute. We do have the measurement input and then a button for cancel and say, right. Yeah, and here's all the stuff that I was doing. Yeah. I wonder what that will look like when I, if I add that to a page. I'll do that. <laughs> I think it'll be a bit of a mess, but we'll do that in a second. Um, have a laugh and then rip it all out. So let's create a... Yeah. Well, yeah. Create a clone of that. Let's add measurement. So 
So. Wonderful. Yeah, that's not bad actually. I might actually just pop because wherever we've got, whenever we go from, if we go from a goal page to an ad measurement, we just want to return to the goal page. If I ever use this ad measurement anywhere else, I probably just want to return to wherever it was. That was even if I add it as a button to um, to the goals page again. So yeah, I can just pop return, which is basically just a reset. Now I don't need the event. In that case, uh, so we're going to do that. Get rid of push at the moment. I'm sure I'll change my mind later. But that's fine for now. So we're going to show the add measurement component in the add measurement root. As long as we're in a lot it was part of a logged in page. So that has all the guards against it. Um, so now we need to get there. So we need to add a root for that. Now we're going to have two different routes, really. One where it's bare, and one where it's already got a goal set, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we effectively need Okay, well, decision time. Do we do full on goal measurement routes, or do we just do measurements with a goal plan? think I think I'll go the long route for the moment I can always change this later So, 
pass goal, goal ID. Yeah, we'll keep it same as that. I think I might start changing things up here. That looks better. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'm going to go change that in a minute. Actually, why don't I change it now? We'll see how that works in a minute. Okay, so add measurement. Add measurement. And then we're going to get that, which is going to be a mess. But we will see. Hundred revisions, okay. Okay, didn't actually add a button yet, did I? Ah. Okay, let's just check that. Right, refresh, add goal still works. Got the new root. If I cancel that, it comes back. That's good. If I try and save, it should just, yeah, not do anything. Good. Okay. So what I need now is a means of adding a goal. So let's just see if we go here. 
I hit management add. There we go. So yeah, it's all a bit messy at the moment. Uh, definitely not what we want. Um, yeah, interesting. Didn't realize. It's not a great uh, styling of that. But hey. Right. Um, interesting. So we now need to move that into a normal setup. So we have this now. We potentially are passing in Potentially passing in a goal. Yeah. Um, so if if goal ID will do something else otherwise we're going to show that I guess what we can do um, is a disabled input, so it's kind of same as others. I'll have to go grab the um, to grab the goal's name. Hmm. It'd be better to actually pass in. Pass in a goal. I wonder if that will go bang. Might go bang. I'll see in a sec. Okay, if we have a goal. Let me do one thing, otherwise we're gonna start populating from there. That's fine. Is 
stink. Let's take. Don't want any of those. Oh well. But I'll just take that just for fun. Okay. Don't need to bind it. Don't, well, we don't even need a value. We certainly don't need autofocus and don't need required, but we do want disabled. Now, oh, I guess we do need a value. Be the goal. Title, yeah. Go. That's what we want. Okay, so if we are passed in a goal, we're going to show a labeled up disabled input with the goal title. which is maybe not the best. Hmm. Actually, that would be pretty messy because that could be a pretty, pretty long thing trying to stuff it into an input, which is potentially constrained in width. Yeah, I don't want that. Let's. Let's do something here. Okay, so I need to potentially grab the goal param here, uh, which I have already done in um, well, all kinds of things. Edit goal. Yeah, that was that one. Yeah. So Yeah, I need that. Grab all that.
Hmm. Yeah, so this if at the bottom here was because we need to be careful. about if it's bookmarked that we load the goals and get the goal so for add measurement I'll have to do the same because if people bookmark the route you need to load it up Part of the reason why I was going to do add measurement as just part of the goals page because it's already there then. But I'll do it this way for now. Okay, so. Just trying to decide whether I should actually have the goal select in the root. Nah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put a little, yeah, I think I need to put a little async thing here as well. So if if params goal ID do that. And whether that's done or not set ready to true so that means the goal id is optional because i'm potentially going to be reusing this route without a goal id that's all i want to cover i mean at the moment i can't i have to pass in a goal id but in the future, probably not, but anyway, 
in the future potentially. <laughs> um, I could do a standalone ad measurement screen where you pick your goal. Yeah. Okay. So as long as we are ready. do one of these two and one is going to have gold one is not actually we'll see if that works with but I can always come back to that, I suppose. What did I put as the default? Nothing here. What I'll do is I will initialize this to null so I know what it is. That way it's always going to be passed in with or without. It could be a copy of getting the goal. Or it could be null. If it's null, it's not going to pass into here. And now we've got a shadow goal here. Oh, I was not going to do that anyway. That's fine. Okay. If we don't have a goal, we need to get one. So that's going to be troublesome. So what we'll do, do that goal ID. Now, so that we definitely have a goal ID one way or another, no undefined properties and stuff. Um, so if we don't have a goal passed in, so if we have a goal, we will use the goal ID. Otherwise, we'll use null. That's fine. Okay. So and yeah, I'm going to bind to the measurements goal ID. 
because that's what we're actually going to pass in. I think this shadow is okay, but I might change that in a minute. Might need to rename that. Measurement input. Okay. Now I don't need the fixed. Just a normal form. Now we'll just leave this for the moment. Oh, actually, I might already have that. Yes, yeah, so I've got width 100% and a max width of that. So I'll find there. Don't need that. Don't need that, that's defaulted. I have three columns, so that's lines one, two, three, and four. We don't need five anymore. Hmm. Three is not good though, is it? <laughs> uh, I just think yeah we could do that we'll do the add button is twice the size of the cancel button Dispatch stuff yet? Yeah. Okay. Oh, did I do save on my edit girl stuff? Saved, cancelled. Let's try and uh, keep it. Okay. Keep it consistent. So we have a form. Uh, what's the flow direction on that global?
There's no flight action. It's grid. Don't. Okay, right. So we've got grid. By default, it's two, but I'm now overriding that. Don't need that because all forms are grid. So we're just overriding that we're having three columns and we're pushing out the width, max width. We have the notes is going to be the entire width. First button is cancel button. It's one column and the add button is two columns. Okay. I think that might be worth looking at and seeing what's going on there. Let's check that we've got goal coming in. Getting set. On the goal ID. So we don't show it. We're going to have to add, add something to the root in a minute. Yeah. All right, let's see what we've got so far. Here we go. Uh, not quite right on the grid layout there. That's weird. Um, Oh, of course, labels are taking two, two grid things at the moment. That would actually be handy. Because that means if I want th those three, oh, I've only got two fields now. Oh yeah, potentially three. Hmm. Mind you, I could just say uh, for this, for the moment, not even to start mucking about with the grid. Because this is supposed to be just raw, get the data in. I could just use the standard form here. I might just need to pop up the size a little bit. Actually, when you, um, let's move this. Let's 
It's not so bad. Okay. All right, I think I'll I think I'll just defer back to the standard form for the moment. I think I'm on global. I've gotten uh, text areas taken up the whole lot. So labels take up two. Text areas. Oh, they'll be inside the two anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go with that for the moment and then we'll muck about with the grid later. So... So I think in theory I can take all of that out. And we'll just have a raw form. Which is just the normal two, two columns and 16 rem wide. Yeah, I'll do. No pop. Why? Hmm. Still have work to do in the ad measurement. So to do one there. Okay. 
Okay, I think we'll do the same. We will, if we have a goal, we will do that. Otherwise, yeah, we'll just do that. Actually, let's do this just so we know what we are doing. Quick and Dirty is the name of the game. Okay, so we now know we're adding a measurement. Uh, if we have a goal, we know the goal. Um, if we don't have a goal, we're going to go add a thingy there, so that'd be fine. Uh, so what was up with cancel? Hmm. Probably nothing to pop. I think that's the same there, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's a reminder of my meeting in a minute. I'll have to finish up in a minute. Right, so I think the problem there is this is not async. Sorry. I need it to be a function, sorry. The on click takes a function to call. So there's a function. Uh, in the future, we will be changing this to something that actually handles the add measurement. So should we stick something in? Yeah, we'll just do a quick Should we grab that? Yeah. And then we will just comment it all out. Just a reminder. Oh, something to do. 
And then we don't need the a the function here. Just need submit handler without the parens. Okay, so it'll just do nothing. But hopefully the cancel will work now. Okay. Let's see what's what. Yep. Uh, so, oh yeah, we want to go to add goal, don't we? Uh, sorry, add. Measurement. Add. Just a quick refresh on that. There we go. It's recognized it. That's good. Um, and if I cancel, we're back. That's good. All right. Well, I've got to finish now. <laughs> Because uh, I've got a meeting and stuff, um, but that's good. Um, nothing else is kind of broken. If I do an edit, that's all there still. So we're getting there. This is all raw, but. I should be able to, let's go back 200 times. I haven't got a button for this yet. But the root is there. So it takes today's date. A little bit rough, but we're getting to the point where we can start adding that data soon. Right. Gotta go. So um, until next time, take care.